Hello fellow investor, in this video I'm going to review one of the most popular stockbroker out there, which is Saxo Bank. It will be a long video, we'll talk about all these points right here. As usual in my video, everything is in the timestamp, so you can jump where you want. Let's start it. As you get from the name, it's not just a broker, it's also a bank. It was founded in 1992 in Denmark and they get the bank license in 2001. In the moment you open an account in Saxo, you automatically get an European multi-currency bank account domiciliated in Denmark. That's a very good selling point because your account is covered by the DSG, the European Deposit Guarantee Scheme, which ensures up to 100,000 euros in cash. Also, you will have an IBAN in your name and this will be very useful in the moment you need to transfer funds or to deposit or to withdraw the funds. I will show a little bit later how this part works. After opening your account, you can manage your investment in two ways. You will have the web portal and you will have the Saxo Trade console, which is both online, I mean web-based, or is a download software you can download on your computer. During the span of this review, I will show both of them, but let's start with the web portal. Here we are in the login page. Every time you do the login, it asks you the security code that you have in your uh, Google Authenticator, for example. Let me insert right here. And uh, here we have the dashboard. If you know me, you know that in Saxo Bank I keep only my ETF portfolio, so my stock is in Tracti Broker. This is why I have only these ETFs, as my portfolio is quite small. Fortunately, at the moment, it is in negative territory, but okay, this is another story. And if we go down and see the value of the cash, I have at the moment a little bit more than $22,000 sitting in the account. And this is the allocation that, as you see, is all ATFs and 100% in USD. If we go a little bit up, we can have uh, some more detail of the cash situation, the part of the portfolio, if there are some transactions ongoing, and the return in this case of the last day. Let's check the performance of the portfolio. If we right here, we can see the total performance, the account value from one side. So this is the value of the account, which includes also the deposit. So this is why it's generally always growing. And this is the return comparing with the S&P 500. In this case, my return is a little bit higher than the S&P 500 for the period. But if I go back from inception, for example, you see that the account value is growing because I did a lot of big deposit at the beginning and after I just stabilized with some monthly deposit. I mean, I'm not depositing so much right now. And this is the return, which is uh, quite worse compared to the S&P 500. Yeah, let's not discuss about that. This is another story. This is just the review of uh, Saxo Broker. Pretty nice information for the for your portfolio. This is the return of all the instrument. Also with the, what we, I closed already, for example, this option. These were some option trading I did. And as you see, I get, uh, I realized some nice premium. Let's move here to the transaction. We can check the all time transaction of the portfolio and we can decide what we want. We can check all the cash transfer I did. These are all the cash in transfer from the inception, which was April 2020 up to now. Uh, corporate action means uh, basically all the cash dividend I received. These are all the dividend from my ETFs. Uh, dividend amount in total with the total tax and the net that I received. As usual, if you are resident uh, in the UAE or anyway in any country which is not United States, you will pay with all the tax on your dividend. This one are the one right here. In this case, 30%. Let's now check one stock and one ETF to see what are the information that the broker give to us. We can search right here the instrument. In this case, let's see, for example, Apple. Let's click on Apple. This is the chart, the price chart. At the moment, the market is closed, so don't worry if you see the numbers that are probably outdated or sometimes you can see something wrong. Uh, this is the chart that we can put this in all time chart, year to date, uh, five years and so on. We can push the advanced chart if we want to draw something, if you want a little bit more detail, we can even explode like this if you really plan to do some analysis, some technical analysis, which I'm not a fan of, but many people are. Let's make it close and let's keep it a simple price. We can add the volume, this can be useful. 
Uh, and if we go a little bit down, we have the usual information. I mean, ask, ask and bid price, open, close, uh, PE ratio, dividend yield, earning per share volatility. I mean, this kind are quite basic information that we get on any stock. While other stock broker, for example, Interactive Broker, gave a very extensive information on multiples ratio and other stuff related to, to stocks. Saxo Bank gives just a minimum of information. If you want to do research, deeply research, you do online with some other service like uh, Coifin, Seeking Alpha, and so on. So if we go scroll a little bit down, there is all news related to Apple and the events that in this case are basically earning results uh, or dividend payment and so on. You have the information about uh, the company, what is Apple, if you don't know, and some other stock in the same area, for example, Microsoft, Nike, I don't know why, but and so on. Uh, let's go up and let's move to fundamentals. Fundamentals, uh, we should find information to do our fundamental analysis, income statement, balance sheet, and cash report. In this case, we don't find much. We find the financial number, but these are not exactly the financial report. They just take some number for the financial report. For example, we, we have the revenue, we have the net income, we have the bid, uh, we don't have the cost. For example, it's not important for them, they prefer to give you the revenue and the net income. Uh, we cannot see the profit margin. Uh, it lacks a lot of information from this point of view. From the balance sheet, they get total asset and total debts, and for the ratio price to sale, and per share, dividend per share, and so on. If we click here on analysis, we get some information about analyst, who rate the stock as buy, hold, sell, and so on. I mean, not much important. You see here trade signal. This is a very interesting thing that Saxo Broker give you. I will show a little bit later under the chapter uh, signal trading because we need to switch to the Saxo Trade uh, console. But this is very interesting, especially if you are a little bit a trader. This is not much for me, but maybe for you. Let's now take a look at ETF. For example, the Vanguard S&P 500, uh, VWO, which is uh, quite famous. Again, chart, same information as the stock. I will not repeat the same thing. We have the Morningstar rating right here, similar ETFs. And if we go on the profile, we get also information about the asset class, the sector, and the region. In this case, the region is one, almost 100% United States. The sector is divided between technology, finance, and so on. Uh, we don't even find the expensive ratio here, which uh, I think is not good. I would really like to have it. Again, the idea is that you do research by your own, so you use some external platform to research on stocks and ETF. So quite easy information. Let's check now what we can do from the buy and sell point of view. Let's try, for example, to buy this ETF. Let's click on buy. Disappear this uh, uh, small screen that we can decide how we want to buy to limit or marketplace. Let's put a limit just to have an idea. The number of share we want to buy. We can see that Saxo Bank doesn't support the fractional share. At least I didn't find any support for the fractional share. This are broker a little bit oriented to uh, high net worth individuals, so they don't know fractional share. And as you can see right here, the trading commission is quite high. I will speak about commission a little bit later in another chapter because I will analyze it deeply. What I can say, apart that is expensive, is that the trading fees are very clear because you get all the information of how much it costs any trade you are doing, any type of instrument, and you can even simulate how long you want to keep this share in your portfolio. For example, I want eight share and I want to keep for one year, and it gives you the cost you will have on a yearly basis. You see amount of cost. I will enter again into the detail, but uh, it's pretty high. I cannot say that I like the high commission, but I need to say that Saxo Bank is a very high level of transparency and it tells you exactly how much it's going to cost the investment from commission point of view. Let's go to take a look at the selling order, which work exactly the same. You can decide how many share you want to sell. This is the total cost, your net position, and the cash you will have available after the selling. So it's a pretty standard information, as I said before. When we will go to check into the Saxo Trade console, we'll see that we'll have more information. We can do more things. For example, we can set up the stop loss, a take profit. There are some conditional order right here in the web portal, which is the easiest way to manage your investment. You are limited only to the very basic.
So in the previous chapter we saw stocks and ETF, now we will switch to bonds. I know that many of you don't invest in bonds, but uh, Saxo is a very powerful tool if you want to do bond investing, so I want to show it. On this page we see the government bonds from uh, North America, Europe and the Pacific area. Uh, if you are into, cor into government bonds, which I don't like that much, if we go a little bit down we can decide to select bond by sector, see the, the popular type of bond, the, the most high yield, the one in the GCC country. This is because my account is uh, open as a resident of the UAE, so they push me to the GCC bonds. Very nice, this Saudi Arabia one, and I need to take a look. Let, let, let's check it exactly it, uh, because I want to see it. Okay, this is a 5% expiring 2049 uh, US dollar, at the moment it's trading at 95. So if we want to see the current coupon is 5% and uh, yeah, but a minimum lot size of $200,000. So it's not probably not uh, my next investment. This is an example of the bond profile. So you see the chart of the bond, which is the price that the bond has right now. In the moment uh, we saw a little bit 95, something a little bit less than 96, which is this one right here before was trading at much more than 130. These are the last quote. Case statistic, yield on maturity, yield on call. In this case, probably the bond is not callable. I didn't check it. And uh, yeah, it's a fixed amount, 5% coupon, and is a government bond from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay, we can check again the profile I saw before. We can check also the document. Uh, not every time uh, we will find document under the bonds. Uh, because this information maybe you need to search online, it would be easier to find online than from your broker. Let's go down to check, uh, the, to explore all the bond, because here is a sort of search engine where we can check all the bond that are available in Saxo, we can put our requirements. Let's do an example for, let's make a filter. I want a, a bond to give a coupon of at least from 4 to 7% with the maturity of uh, between 4 and 12 years and uh, I want to give me a yield of at least 5%. Let's see, 213 bonds and here they are, I didn't put any currency, but for example you see Italy right here, Italy is giving a yield of maturity of 5.24% which expire in 2033. Uh, not interested in this bond, but if we click, we see the minimum lot size is $1,000, so we can easily buy. Even if I need to say uh, the minimum size right here is $1,000, but sometimes Saxo Bank force you to make investment of at least $10,000 worth of bond. So Saxo, as I said before, is uh, quite a premium broker for, in their idea, net worth individual. So you cannot open this account to invest one to hundred dollars You need much more. As I said at the beginning of the review, we'll check both the web portal, which we saw up to now, and the Saxo Trade console, which will give us the possibility to invest in option, for example, and also do the signal trading that I will show a little bit later. So let's go right here. You see there is Saxo Trader Go. We can click and it automatically opens the Saxo Trade console, which is still web based. I mean, you can have it web based or you can download on your computer as a software. In this case, I prefer to use on the web, but it appears a little bit like a trading console uh, in some way similar to Interactive Broker. We have the watch list in the case there are, for example, bonds to watch that I created, some interesting bonds, screener, and so on. On the right side, there is the product overview. So, for example, if I click here on the City Group bond, it opens me here the product overview of the bond where I clicked. So, the information right here come from what you selected. If we, let's go, for example, to some uh, uh, US large cap stocks and uh, I don't know, at t it opened me here at t Same information, this is the chart like before, these are trade signals we will see later, news and so on. And if we need, we can explore this. The information are exactly the same you find on the web portal. So let me close it. Here there is my position and my portfolio. But what it gives us the possibility to do is the option trading. For example, if we take the Invesco Triple Q right here, we can, you can see right here there is option chain. We click on option chain and let's explode it. And uh, it's a little bit different from how usually other broker does the uh, options because uh, instead of select the different date, you see the dates are all here. 
For example, this is 26 of April, this is 27 of April, 28, and so on. These are all the strike price. In this case, for example, I ask at 24 strike price, but if we want to make a little bit more easy to read, I put only six. Uh, the one marked in, uh, in this light blue are the one in the money, the other one are the white one are out of money. So bid and ask price, I mean the usual information, delta, volatility, and we can even customize a little bit this view. If you open the manage column, we can add what we want. We can add all the Greeks, Vega, Theta, and Gamma, for example, as you see right here. But for how I invest, I, I don't need that much. I prefer to stay only with uh, um, the Delta. This is what I like. As you can see, it's keep updating because the market is opening. So for example, we want to buy in this case and we want to sell because I like selling covered call. We want to sell a covered call of uh, uh, triple Q, uh, which expired, for example, next week, let's say 3rd of May. Let's sell at the moment the, it's trading 313, I can sell at 316. You see it open the trading ticker, you see much more information comparing to the web portal. So for example, sell at open, we can sell one cover call at 316 strike price on triple Q, price 2.94. We see that the premium we will get is $194. Cash available, I mean, it's not important. Trade fee is $3.02. The option chain, it works very good. I prefer anyway doing interactive broker. I don't like the fact that I see all the expiration date in the same uh, window. I like, I prefer to select my expiration date, but you know, this is just up to me. Let's now move to signal trading, because this is something that I found only in Saxo Bank, at least for what I know. Let's go on research. Uh, let's go to trade signals, because this is something if you are a little bit into technical analysis. I don't like technical analysis. I don't believe much in that, even if I started a little bit when I was younger. But I know that many people that watch my video are very much into trading. So what's the point here? Here, there is a software called AutoChartist that uh, find uh, pattern. They find pattern of technical analysis. And Saxo give you all this pattern in order you can easily uh, make a trade according to them. So for example, you see these are the instrument, in this case are all equity. This is a type of pat pattern. If there is a support, a resistance, channel up, triangle, double bottom, and so on. I mean, if you are into technical analysis, you probably know all of that and the quality of this pattern and the type of situation we are in. So let's make an example. Let's take this pattern on Johnson & Johnson. This is just one day old. You see right here, this is the chart. This is the level of resistance, which is uh, identified by Chocar by Auto Chartist, which is the software. So basically it's telling you, you need to buy the stock because the stock can break this resistance and go up. So you can make a take profit and a stop loss. You decide how many shares you want to buy and you basically place the order. Does it work? I don't know, honestly, I never tried. Uh, I don't like to do technical analysis. I don't like to do trading. Let's check something else. For example, this one of target. Let's open it. You see, this is a little bit more complicated. They found a triangle. So in their opinion, the stock will go down. This is their idea. So they suggest me to sell how many stock I want to sell. I don't know, 10, 10 stock. In this case, of course, you need the margin account to sell stock you don't own. You need to mark the take profit and the stop loss. So in case the pattern doesn't work, you can exit from the trade and so on. According to them, they have a probability of 71%. How this probability is calculated, I, have, I honestly have no idea. What I think about that, uh, whether there is uh, something like robo investing or this kind of automatic investment, because this is automatic investment, just to select the pattern and push a button. I am very skeptical about, uh, I don't think on the long run you'll make money with this. I don't believe in technical analysis so much and most of the stock traders lose money on the long run. So there are very small amount of traders who become rich or anyway make money out of uh, consistent daily trading. Uh, I will not open Saxo Bank to follow all their uh, option, uh, hoping to become a trader, honestly. But you know, this is something fun and uh, maybe sooner or later, if you guys like, let me know in the comment, I will do a video where I 
for example, can follow 10 of this signal and see how the trading came out. But it will be interesting. I, I will even put some money on it and see what happened. Let's now understand how work uh, deposit and withdrawal from uh, Saxo Bank. This is something very important if you want to transfer your money or any way to withdraw your profit, hopefully. Uh, let's go, let's move right here under portfolio. We are still inside the uh, Saxo Trade console, but the same thing can be done on the uh, web portal. So we select uh, my account. You see, these are exactly the same information. Let's go right here. This is my uh, information about my account and I can decide to deposit and transfer. I click right here, you see, and uh, for example, I can deposit with a bank transfer. In this case, I select the currency I want to use it for if there are all the major currencies, there is US dollar, GBP, Euro, also ID, also dirhams if we want. And this is my bank account. Okay, of course, I mark it out, but this is an Ivan code from Denmark. So whatever, basically whatever currency you transfer, you need to transfer it inside this bank account and it will automatically arrive in your Saxo portfolio. The same thing happens if you want to withdraw money, if you want to withdraw fund, you can withdraw only in the bank account you used before to transfer the money. So for example, if you want to withdraw your money in your Citibank account, you need to be sure that before you transfer some money from Citibank to Saxo Bank. This is just a security mechanism. It's because they want to avoid that somebody can maybe log in in your account and be able to withdraw money in their account. So in this case, they really verify that the destination account is yours. I, I like this idea. Uh, in this case, it is my TransferWise account. Both withdraw and deposit are completely commission free. Of course, your bank can ask some commission to do the transfer, but if you are into Europe, if you're able to have an account with uh, uh, Euro, for example, the commission is ridiculous, it's less than one euro in general, 0 0.30 cents. The same thing from United States, it will be a little bit more expensive in dirhams. You can also decide to transfer your portfolio, you can decide to transfer your uh, stocks, uh, ETFs or whatever outside Saxo Bank, so transfer into another stockbroker or from another stockbroker you can decide to transfer into Saxo. I didn't try this procedure on Saxo Bank because I found this account from when it was zero and I never transfer in and out any position. I did it with Interactive Broker many times, it's quite easy system, I, I suppose it would be easier also in Saxo Bank. Also possibility to uh, use the credit card, but they accept only credit card that are issued in one of these countries, which is basically Europe. So nothing from the United States or from GCC country, unfortunately. So, but, but anyway, you will pay commission of the credit card. And again, uh, it's not worth it to lose uh, 2% or something like that, uh, transferring big amount with credit card. It will be much, much better if you transfer with a normal bank transfer. And now, even if I said already during the review, we are added to the worst part of Saxo, which are the commission. Saxo is an extremely expensive broker. I'm sorry, it's a very good service, it's a perfect platform. I love it to spend time on Saxo, I love it to manage my investment there, but the commission are ridiculous. I will try to see one by one the different class of investment you can do it and also the generic commission that you need to pay just to have an account with Saxo Bank. Let's start from stocks right here. Everything is in the description. So if you want to take a look at commission by yourself, you can follow the link in the description. Uh, the commission are uh, targeted to uh, users that are in the UAE, so in Arab Emirates. If you are in Europe or in other country, the commission are a little bit different, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, but I speak for the commission I have. So right here you see the minimum commission if you have a classic account, which means if you have less than $250,000, is 0.02 USD per share, which doesn't look much, but anyway, minimum, you will pay 10.99. So if you buy $10,000 of Apple, for example, you will pay 10.99. If you buy 
$100 of Apple, you would pay 10.99. It's very high commission compared to, for example, a free commission broker that we have here in the UAE, Paraga, Salvo, and so on. Uh, by the way, if you want to open an account with zero commission stock broker in the UAE, check in the description, there are some nice promotions. But also Interactive Broker, because Interactive Broker, at the end, you have a minimum commission a little bit more than $1. Here is 10.99, $11. If we switch somewhere else, for example, more than almost $21 in Canada, in Europe, uh, you see by yourself. It's very expensive. Yeah, it's nice that you can invest in all these markets. It's very good. You have a very powerful platform, but the commission are ridiculous. If you plan to invest $100, $500, it doesn't work. Let's switch now to the option commission that are a little bit more acceptable. Uh, again, still higher than Interactive Broker, but for example, $3 is not that bad. I, I take it uh, and this is why time to time I sell option on Saxo because at the end, yes, it is uh, more expensive, but not so expensive. And also we need to talk about uh, commission and anyway fees that are always there. And we can see right here, there are something interesting, like the interest on deposit. For example, if you have $30,000 in the account and you're not investing, you will get paid this percentage, which is quite low right now. And uh, Interactive Broker is paying more than 4% for cash kept in the account, uh, while uh, Saxo Bank is paying 0.61%. It's very low. So yeah, they pay some interest on the deposit, but uh, we should not cheer about that. Let's go to the fee that are a little bit of a problem. First one is the custody fee. Custody fee is what you pay Saxo for the custody of your share, bond, or whatever product you book, whatever security. You see, the custody fee is 0.15% of all your investment on annual basis. But you pay every month, so 0.15% uh, divided 12 months. Problem is that also here there is a minimum of $5. So if your investment is not making at least $5 in custody fee, you would pay $5 per month. For example, let's check my investment, which is $112,000 approximately right now, multiplied, multiplied 0.15%. It means I pay $318 per year just to keep this investment I have. Uh, and of course I pay on a monthly basis, so it arrived to $26 per month. If you have less, uh, you pay less of course, but never less than $5. So at least the Saxo Bank will cost you $60 per year, at least. Apart from that, we have also the inactivity fee. So if for some reason you don't make any trade in 180 calendar days, they charge you $150. This is uh, nuts, I, I really hate this. Uh, I understand that they make money when people buy, sell, uh, option, stock, whatever. They don't make money with investors that just keep the stock there and forget about it. But anyway, $150 of an activity fee for me is too much. Of course, I need to remember at least every six months, I need to do one trade. It will cost me $10, but at least I will not lose $150 in activity fee. I will not go on other type of fee that anyway, the majority of you will never face it. But again, a link into the description if you want all the detail. I think that if you open an account in Saxo, you really need to look carefully at all the commission and all the fee you're going to pay. As I said during the review, if you have at least $50,000, $100,000, then Saxo Bank can be a right choice for you because it's a very good platform, easy to use, and it's much better user-friendly than, for example, interactive progress. Anyway, commission are not a joke. So if you plan to have a buy and hold investment style, like a dividend investor or very long-term investor, then can be a good choice. But if you are more like a trader and you want to do many operations, then I suggest you really to take a look at Interactive Broker and forget about Saxo Bank because you will completely eat them from the commission. Personally, I will keep using Saxo Broker as my ATF portfolio, as you saw in the review. I will maybe sell some covered call on some of these ATF, but I will not anyway use for bonds or for any type of activity close to trading. I hope the review was clear and exhaustive. If you have some other question that I didn't answer during this video, please drop a comment because I always reply and see you in the next video.